good evening my dear friends today in this short video we are going to discuss one of the very important concept of normalization that is functional dependency this is a sure shot question that we can expect for this net examination as well as set examination the general form of functional dependency is alpha determines beta the general form of functional dependency is alpha determines beta i have already told you many times alpha is called as determinant alpha is called as determinant it will contain the primary key it will contain the primary key primary key means it will contain unique values it will contain unique values or duplicates are not allowed or duplicates are not allowed so unique values are no duplicates no duplicates this is the rule for this is the rule for alpha side beta side no rule alpha side having rule beta side no rule that means alpha is having some rule and he have to follow the rule then alpha is the hero beta does not have any rule he can do anything then he is the villain right so who is the hero now alpha is the hero listen carefully alpha is the hero of the concept right so with that particular idea i am dividing the entire functional dependency part into three different cases i am dividing the entire functional dependency into three different cases case 1 case 2 case 3 okay with respect to case one listen carefully there is a relation r that contains two attributes a b that contains two attributes a b now you have to determine who is alpha and who is beta this is the general format alpha determines beta just to go and scan these values my dear friends just to go and scan the value of a and b a and b listen carefully scan the value of a 1 2 3 4 so a contains all unique values right search for b it contains m repeated m n repeated n. no do no duplicates here duplicates here so who will be the hero a will be the hero and b will be the villain so alpha determines beta for this particular case will be a determines b a determines b whether the case one is clear now i am taking you to the case two so case two again it contains two attributes a b so the relation r contains two attributes a comma b now again you have to scan a as well as you have to scan b and that should be no duplicates then it will be the hero okay listen carefully so listen scan a first scan a first it contains one it contains again one it contains two three so it is repeated it is repeated okay so now scan b it contains p again it contains p it contains q it contains q so p is repeated and q is also repeated so with respect to case 2 you cannot find any attributes as unique one but with respect to the database management property you know whenever there is a table whenever there is a table or whenever you are creating a table you should contain one primary key then it is not visible directly it is hidden now we have to find which is the primary key or which is the alpha part right now listen carefully now a determines b a determines b let us consider this fashion a determines b first okay so what is the what is the uh, thing you can get one determines b with respect to first row you can get one determines b with respect to second row also you can get one determines b with respect to third row you can get two determines q with respect to third row you can get two determines q with respect to fourth row you can get three determines q can you tell me can you tell me something whether any row is repeated whether any row is repeated see the first row first row contains first row contains one determined speed second row also contain one determined speed so why should include two rows with the same values delete this particular row delete this particular row then what you will get now what you will get now one determined speed two determined q three determined q now just check these three values one two three no repetition no repetition then what you can conclude right now a determines b is valid here also so what i would like to convey here is first of all you have to go and scan the table if there is unique values then put it in left hand side simple trick if it contains unique values put it in left hand side if it does not contain unique values if it does not contain unique values then use this algorithm use this algorithm then one row will be definitely repeated delete that row and check it out then you will get the answer 
Okay? Shall we go to the third scenario? Shall we go to the third scenario? Listen carefully. We have three attributes here. A, B, and C. Check out unique. Check out for uniqueness. A contains one. Again one. It is repeated. So A is not unique. Two, three is unique. Okay. Again, it is. If you check out here, nine, eight. Again, eight repeated. Okay. And then seven unique. So P, 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 P. Everything is repeated. Repeated, repeated, and repeated. Okay. So now what we are going to do? If you are not able to find something that is unique, try to combine. I have in the first video itself when there is election is happening if no one is getting the majority what will happen they will combine and they will form the government like that check out what you can combine right now check out for a b determines c let us combine a b and try it out what is the answer so what will what will happen now 1 9 1 9 determines p 1 8 determines p 2 8 determines p 3, 7 determines P. Check out the left hand side right now. Check out the left hand side right now. 1, 9, 1, 8, 2, 8, 3, 7. Everything is unique. So what is the answer for case 3? A, B determines C. What I am trying to conclude is the thing, all the thing that is present in the left hand side uniquely, combinedly, uniquely, combinedly determines the right hand side. Then the answer is A, B determines a C. Okay. So now we will go to this one. No, I am not going to solve this one. I am going to give it as an exercise. Okay. So now after checking out the entire video, try to answer these two questions. Who will be the alpha? Who will be the alpha? The first question is who will be the alpha? For this particular example, who will be the alpha? Okay. So now if whether the alpha is whether alpha is single attribute single attribute or multiple attribute whether the alpha is single attribute or multiple attribute. so you have to find alpha and you have to tell me whether it is single attribute or multiple attribute so this is one simple idea with respect to functional dependency where definitely you can expect some questions thank you so much for listening and tonight there will be one very interesting part we are going to release in our youtube channel in related with respect to functional dependency that is a relationship is trivial or non-trivial please do watch it take notes and give your comments for this video so that we can improve ourselves thank you so much for listening